It is one of the most unique and symbiotic relationships that exist in agriculture. There's a naturally occurring type of bacteria that lives in the soil called rhizobia. The rhizobia communicate with crop plants and they actually attach themselves to the root hairs of these plants. Once the nodule is formed, it allows the rhizobia then to take nitrogen from the air and actually move it inside of the plant and bring it down below ground into the soil. Nitrogen is actually critical for plant growth. It helps make bigger, stronger plants. And when it comes from rhizobia from the air, it is actually something we could call nature's fertilizer. These stronger, healthier plants are in fact less susceptible to stresses. Any stresses can include insects, disease, or even drought or excessive moisture. This relationship, in fact, has a very long history. The ancient Egyptians were known to actually physically cart large volumes of soil from productive farmland to new fields to try and take advantage of the increased yields they found on previous soils due to these rhizobia. There are actually many different types of rhizobia that are found naturally through soil and they all have varying degrees of ability to fix nitrogen depending on sometimes even the crop plant which they're attached to. Agricultural researchers like myself have gone out into farmers fields and have collected different rhizobia, have taken these back to labs and purified them and made them into very concentrated products. We call these products inoculants. These inoculants are then applied directly to seed, coating them around the outside, or they are placed down the row with the seed during planting. This is a state-of-the-art process. We're taking what nature has given us and we're making it better. We're taking the right strain of rhizobia in the right amount and placing it exactly where the plant needs it. In fact, 300 grams of a modern, high-quality inoculant contains as many rhizobia as a four-ton truckload of soil taken from a field. Inoculants are used today all over the world, including in developing countries where specially designed small packages have been made to fit farmer needs. For example, farmers in Ghana have seen their peanut plants grow 50 centimeters taller after applying an inoculant. My family also used these inoculants on our grain and seed farm in Western Canada where I grew up. And it makes me very proud to be developing the next generation of products that can bring even more value to farmers. Inoculants are part of a wave of truly innovative crop protection products. They have no negative side effects and farmers of every kind, both organic and conventional, are already using them today. The future of inoculants is strong too. We're currently innovating to develop even stronger strains, and we're developing formulations that allow the rhizobia to survive under even more challenging environmental conditions and for longer periods of time. Ultimately, scientific innovations like these are helping farmers grow their crops more sustainably now and in the future.